The old Sears Crosstown building has about 1,200 masonry openings, and typically each opening has three windows. All will be replaced in the $175 million renovation. Five window companies from across the country are competing for the contract. Each is installing a demonstration window. The goal is to historically match the existing windows uh, with sight lines. And um, so what we're doing is putting in a sample window to depict our capabilities for the project. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of those monumental projects. It's 1,200 plus openings. Um, it's a well, essentially a landmark project throughout the country. There are five or seven of these old Sears buildings that were erected, so they're very, uh, very high-profile projects. It would be fantastic to be associated with them. Uh, there's a lot of challenges. Uh, you've got to uh, um, obviously pull in the historical data on the existing product and then hopefully come together and create a system that will match that, which is a, a very difficult function. They're subject to review at the National Park Service, so they are, it, some of these projects we get down into the sixteenth of an inch type thing on your sight lines, so there's a lot of design work that goes into these projects. Uh, the goal of this, or the type of window, is a fixed window with what they consider a floating or a false operable vent in them. So if you look at the windows that are in there, they all look like they're operable, but the goal is they're all going to be fixed to look like they're operable. Uh, and that's really the, the main characteristic of the project. So in other words, it look, they look like they can open and close, but they can't? Correct. The, 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 one of the goals of going back to the replacement window here is to put an energy efficient dual pane window in as opposed to fixing up the existing. So it'll be a huge thermal boost for the building when it's complete.